everybody, it's Amanda, and today we are swatching uh, Sailor Ink Studio. We're going to be doing the uh, the 40s series, so 140 through 940. Actually, 940 we will not be swatching live in this video because I have swatched it already, but we will um, show the card with the rest of these uh, lovely blues so you can see what they look like all together. And um, yeah, so as always, my swatching materials are my um, coloring card, my Moon Man mini glass dip pen, um, and um, I will be swatching, this is just background paper for my swatch cards because I'm messy, and um, I'll be swatching the ink on some 52 gram Tomo, Tomo River paper. This is a Gale and Leather Everyday Notebook in the A5 size, and then we will also be swatching it on um, some Cosmo Air Light paper. This is the 75 gram version. And um, yeah, we'll take a look at it on this paper too. Cause I know everybody's like, everybody's dying over this paper and I have a notebook to use. So um, yeah, so I like seeing it. I like the way this ink, this paper shows off ink. I don't necessarily like the way writing looks on it. I mean, I do, but it's it broadens everything up. So I don't, I'm, I'm still on the fence about how I feel about that. <laughs> I feel like because I don't love it, maybe it's not, maybe I don't like it, but also sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. So yeah, so I don't know, we'll see. But in the meantime, we will be swatching all these inks. And I do want to say we have a lot coming up. Um, I was generously given about eight, 8,700 samples. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding about the 8700 but a bunch of samples from a couple of pen friends these are from a couple of pen friends so um yeah so we'll be swatching these at some point as well um we had a little bit of a mishap on one of them but it's fine it's fine it's no big deal i just it's messy and i didn't want to mess with it so um, i'm leaving it contained for now um but yeah, so thank you, um, Len and Roxy, for these uh, beautiful samples. I can't wait to see them. Um, yeah, but for now, we're back to our Sailor Ink Studios. I like splitting these up because I do a lot of swatching videos on my channel, as you've seen. Um, so um, I like going back and forth between the studios and other things. That way we kind of like spread out the love, but also it's not just one thing. Like it's one activity, but it's not just one brand of ink the whole time. So yeah, so that's what I think. And also just an update on 30 inks, 30 days for April. We will be doing 30 days of shimmer inks because not one single person has told me no. <laughs> everybody has said yes. And I'm pretty sure everybody has said yes because they want me to have to deal with cleaning out 30 shimmer inks. But um, yeah, It'll, it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I have samples. I have bottles of ink. I have definitely enough shimmer inks to, whoops, definitely enough shimmer inks to make this happen. So we will, we will definitely be doing that. Um, okay. My little, I have to plug my charger cable into the cable that splits off to my microphone so I don't lose battery power on my phone. And I've also, I also had to reset my phone, so I don't know if that might have done something. So let me know if this like looks weird or sounds weird or something is weird because I've had, I've had issues. Um, so, okay, where do we start? Okay, we're going to start with a coloring card. And I need to move these. And we're going to start with a vial of ink. Sailor Ink Studio 140, I, my, Yoseka bottles are really messy, um, so I'm not going to show these off because they're really messy and I just wash my hands, so actually, you know what, I will show them off. We have 240, so that's an idea of what that looks like, 640, 340, this vial is just dirty on the outside too, um, 140, which is the one we're going to start with, 540. I think this is 840, 740. Here, I, I don't think I showed 840. And then um, 440. So lots of blues. So, yeah, so hopefully, I know I have a few people that really don't like blue ink. So, hopefully, if you watch this one, you enjoy what you see. <laughs> and if you don't, I'll see you in a different video. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. All of these samples were purchased from Yoseka Stationery. 
I purchased these with my own money. I did um, also order that sample of 173, the replacement sample, and um, when that comes in, we'll go ahead and swatch that because I want to make sure you have an, well, I'll swatch it and show it off with the rest of the 73s so you have an accurate uh, show about that. And again, thanks to um, Jen and, shoot, I forgot the other lady's name. I'm not sure how to say it, basically, is the problem. I know what it looks like, so... Um, yeah, you know who you are. Thank you so much for uh, pointing that out to me. I really appreciate that. So, all right. This is Sailor. I need more ink on here. Number 140. This is one of those like clear, this is actually what I thought um, Sailor Florida might look like. A little more of the like turquoise, like Caribbean blue. I really need to find my ink cloth or just grab another washcloth and repurpose it for inky purposes because I don't like, I'm tired of using paper towels. It's fun for the chromatography, but it's so wasteful. Um, yeah, okay, so, okay, what am I doing? It's very pretty. I have a cat at my feet doing Lord knows what. didn't write the numbers on here, so let's go ahead and do that. This is 140. It bothers me that I wrote that under, because all the ones it's written on top. How's everybody's day going? Congratulations again to Ramona for winning the Parker 51. That's exciting. I um, basically did that drawing and then had a dentist appointment today, so. Uh-oh, um, uh-oh. Okay. Um, I basically did the drawing and then I had a dentist appointment today, so just went and got a, a dental cleaning. Bright, clear blue. That's pretty. I like it because it's not like, it's just like a light sky blue. It's not like, it doesn't have like the like teal in the Pacific. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks like there's some purple in here. Some like purpley undertones, kind of. Like pinky undertones. It's like a sky blue pink, but it doesn't look like that in the writing. Just on the swatch. That'll be pretty as it dries. Okay, next up we will do... Of course, it's the last one I pick up, Sailor 240. I don't remember if I mentioned it in the intro because I had to, I ended up getting a phone call and had to stop, but um, I will be comparing, I had a request to compare Black Tongue Spider Orchid to some inks. 
So at the end of the video, um, I'll throw that in there in case you're you're curious and want to watch. But um, if you don't want to watch, then you know, once I'm done with these, then then you don't have to worry about it. This one's interesting. <laughs> so yeah, so I think for um for April I'm gonna go ahead and do, like I said, all shimmer inks. Um, we're gonna have, I have some bottles of shimmer ink. I have samples of shimmer ink. Yeah, Pearl wants in on the shimmer ink action. Even Pearl's excited about it. Right, Pepperlita? Yeah. Oh, wait, you're excited about the birdie outside? Oh, okay. Thought you were excited about shimmer ink, Miss P. Ooh, that's pretty. So we had, um, the electrician had to come back to fix things because they, um, they installed some new electrical outlets in a couple of places for some stuff. Um, and it's in, they did a lot of it in like bathrooms and they have to have the GFI outlet and they just installed regular outlets. So they had to come back and, um, and swap those out. So, um, before that, well, actually when they got there, I was like, you can come in, but you can't go anywhere until I put the cats away. So <laughs> I don't even know if it was the same, one of the same people that was here last time. I have no idea. I'm just like, nope, my, you, you can come in, but you're not doing anything until I get my cats put away. Um, thankfully Pearl was cooperative. She was the one that got kicked out of where she was, um, because she was in my room and my room was having some stuff done. Um. Even though it wasn't the bathroom. They were going to fix a thing. They ended up not fixing, I don't think. But it's not a big deal. I didn't really want them to fix it anyway. So my like light switch in my room is like upside down or backwards. So, um, but I'm used to it that way. So like I don't want to change it. This is very pretty. Again, this has some of that like pink underneath it as well. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but yeah, I like that. I don't know if, I don't know if it'll stick around once it's dry, but while it's wet, there's a little bit of it. I like this one. Of the two we've done so far, that one's my favorite. Okay, next up we have number 340. I love, I've been watching, well, first of all, I love that um, a lot of the pen people I watch have started posting videos since I asked them to. I <laughs> I know one, I know at least one of them because Jen said it was, it was because I mentioned it, but um, yeah, I'm sure they're not all because I was like, start posting videos, but I'm going to go ahead and take the credit. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> But it's been fun watching videos. Um, we're having a bad nib day. Oh, there we go. Three forty. Ooh, this is even like more interesting. I love I love discovering these inks. Can I just say? Because, I've, I mean, I've seen some of them on other people's channels and, like, on the interwebs and all that stuff. But, um, but yeah, to actually, like, see it in person and be able to, um, to try it out is just something completely different. And hopefully, um, I just realized I never zoomed in a little bit, so let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully you, you, it sounds like you are all, um, finding this, um, really, like, helpful and useful and stuff so so yeah so I'm happy to do it um 
it's, it's been a fun pet project for me to do for the channel. Um, I might have probably done this anyway, but it's fun that I get to share it with all of you. So, and um, yeah, I'm really happy that you guys are liking it too. Ooh, this is even prettier. This kind of reminds me of what I think that Sailor Pennsylvania is going to look like. Maybe a little darker. I'm still kind of... Pearl? Marl? Um, I'm still kind of like annoyed that it's blue even though they said it's based on the steel um, industry but it's like the gray of the steel. The gray of the steel the state is known for but it's blue. I don't know. But I have a feeling once it gets here because I did order it um, once it gets here and I swatch it I, I'll, I'll be very pleased. It's, I'm really intrigued by that sheen. That sheen looks interesting. So yeah. Pretty. This is kind of the color. My, my room walls. So my bedroom used to be inhabited by a 14 year old girl. And um, yeah, it, the walls were pink and purple and um, kind of silly and I wanted to paint them a color like this maybe a little more gray but a slate blue sort of color because um, I thought it'd be pretty um, it was originally going to be a guest room and then um, yeah so I thought that would be like a nice calm color for a room where people could stay and um, I was vetoed so um, so yeah, so now I, um, now that ended up being my room, and I live in a pink and purple palace. <laughs> Pretty. What are you doing? Are you trying to get on the video because Patrick's is on earlier? Are you jealous, Miss P? Are you jealous? You're always in the videos, Pearl. -Pearl. I know you're always in the videos. Everybody always gets to say hi to Pearl. -Pearl. I know. Hello. This is a nice, like, basic blue. So far I think this is my least favorite of the ones that we've swatched. It's just meh, in my opinion. I would love to hear your opinions, but meh, meh. Next up we have number 540. I really hate these labels. And I think it's just these labels on these vials. I don't have problems with these labels on other vials. Unless you have problems when I've sent you samples, please let me know. Because once these are done, I'll get different labels. I know! Wow! Wow, Mr. B! Wow. Mr. Patches. Wow. 
Apologies to any kitty friends who are watching. <laughs> this is what I do off camera as well. We have conversations all the time. Don't we, buddy? Mr. P. Oh, are you opening the window? Are you opening the blinds? You know the one right next to it was open. Okay. Security duty, Mr. P? Are you on security duty? Ooh, that's nice. I feel like these blues are all basically the same color. I know that they're not, but like, I think these blues look closer to all being the same than some of the other color series have, color series have. I mean, they're not the same, trust me, I know that, but they definitely seem the most cohesive. That's what I'm trying to say. Next up, Sailor 640. Where are my cards? Oh, here. Yes, yeah, so the dentist is fun. I mean, Considering it's one of the few places I have gone in the last year. <laughs> oh, I like that one. I'm going to be doubling the swatches on these on the papers off to the side because I didn't redip it all. Well, I thought I redipped, but it didn't really do it, so these swatches might look a little different. <clears throat> I have a lovely jar of Smurf water right here very blue as to be expected kind of a denim -y blue in my opinion what do you think we have two more two left to go sailor 740 Lots of bird watching today. The electrician guy was only here for like 
I don't know, like 20 minutes, if that. So it's not like they were locked away very long. But they were sleeping. I had to wake Pearl up. Pearl is most amenable when she's still asleep. So if you can catch her while she's still asleep or like hasn't fully awoken, <laughs> you have a much better time. Um, their nails were really sharp and it was like time to clip them. And man, she fights the hardest on um, getting her nails clipped. She just doesn't like it. She doesn't like us messing with her paws to begin with. Um, so she's never, Patches doesn't care. Patches is like pretty easy. Um, but her, we have to like bribe her or like one person has to hold the cat. The other, it's like a torch. She, it's like she's being tortured. She's not, but she thinks she is. Um, but if we don't clip her claws, then I'm tortured. Not just me, but like everybody is tortured because her, her nails are so sharp and she attacks. She scratched patches on the face. She scratched me. She scratched my roomie. So, yeah. The kitty cats don't fight nice when they fight, so. Um, gotta make sure their nails are clipped. They're both very good about sharpening them, so cut them, like, once, a, once every couple of weeks or so. Another blue. Blue, blue, blue. I would say that that falls under maybe another basic blue. I don't really, I'm not wowed by it. And then uh, 840, this is the last ink that we'll be swatching for today. Not ever, just for today. Maybe not even just for today, but just for this video. <laughs> Number 840. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let these dry. And then I will pop on with comparisons and then um, we'll go ahead and show these off. So cool. I will be right back. Hi everybody. We are back with our ink swatches. So we have a Sailor Ink Studio 140. Sailor Ink Studio 240. You can see some of that purple in there. Well, I can. I'm hoping that you can, but I can see it in in the frame or in the thing. Sailor 340. I really love that one. Sailor 440. Sailor 540. 640. 740. 840. These are actually really similar. They're different, but similar. And then 940, which is the darkest one. Uh, this one looks almost black because of how much ink I put on it, but it's really, it's a really dark blue and it has this really cool sheen on it. Kind of, it's kind of oil slicky. Um, 
yeah do y'all have a favorite of these ink studio of this particular series so much blues obviously i'm a big fan of this one because i have this um in a bottle i got it to go with my um my gold spot exclusive uh transparent classic blue kaveco um stuff on it um yeah so it really looks I, I don't have it in this pen right now i have actually um colorverse or not colorverse um troublemaker milky ocean in here right now but um but yeah i got that to match that ink um i have to say though of the ones that i don't already own i think 340 and 640 are probably my favorites um which ones do you like the best um yeah let's kind of i don't know does that help shield some of the light so yeah so these are our um sailor uh, the series the 40 series um let's go ahead and look at it on our papers we have our cosmo um, air light paper these two look really similar in the little swabbies but the writing is different it's a little 340 is a little darker than 240 and then 640 and then here it is on the tumble paper. 640 is the one that I doubled up a little bit because when I initially put it on there, the brush was kind of dry, so it's a little oversaturated, but um, yeah. And I don't know if you can see it. You can see the little purple bits, like the pink coming through, the pink undertones a little better here. There's some of that purple in there too, or pink undertones. So yeah, so that's awesome hope that you enjoyed this series um next up we'll do i'm gonna skip around i've had a request for i've had a request for i think the 30s somebody requested the 30s somebody requested the 60s um i want to do these purples here so yeah so yeah we're we're getting we're making some progress everybody um, yeah, so I don't know what we'll do next. Um, I don't think I'm going to do 41 next. I think that's a lot of blue. Um, so I'll mix it up. We'll, we'll maybe go to the pinks or the greens here. Um, and I'll decide when I record that video. <laughs> so yeah, so awesome. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing these. Um, if you want to stick around and see a comparison to um, Black Tongue Spider Orchid, please do. Otherwise, if this is all you came for, I hope you have a wonderful day. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do those comparisons now. So this is, it, comparing Black Tongue Spider Orchid is not the first time that I have ever had that request, but I had somebody request it against um, several different inks. So, um, so yeah, so we'll go ahead and do some of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for this. So we have our Black Tongue Spider Orchid. That's our subject ink. They wanted to see it next to Hollywood um, Diamonds Are Girls BFF. And I kind of think that this might be, I can't tell if it's a little more red, but I feel like this might be the base color of Diamonds Are Girls BFF. So if you don't want the shimmery version, um, that's pretty close. Um, they also requested it next to Private Reserve er, Arabian Rose. Um, so yeah, they're actually like really close, I think. This one seems to be a little more, and that's just based on the swatch, a little more muted perhaps, but I mean, it's really close. Um, also uh, next to Beetroot Relish from Van Diemen's. Um, yeah, so this is a little darker, I think, but, um, and maybe a, a, a little richer. Um, but yeah, this, this swatch looks really flat, but I have to say that in a pen, this ink has great shading. That's why I love it so much. Um, I don't have it. Well, I might have it. I think I have it in a pen. I just don't have the pen around. Um, I also thought it would look nice, um, compared to Platinum Classic Lavender Black. That's one that a lot of people like. Um, it's looking a little, a touch more red, but, um, that's one that I know lots of people either have or are familiar with. So... Um, then we have Sailor Ink Studio 435. Um, I thought this might be a little too purple, um, but yeah, I just wanted to see what it looked like. Again, also Monteverde uh, Emotions Gratitude. These are both uh, pen friend gifts. This is obviously a little more magenta. We have Diamine Deep Magenta, which I knew wouldn't be even close. It's even more magenta, I would say, than this one, like bright and in your face. I like this ink though. Um, this is another pen friend ink. So 
one of those. Um, thought I'd compare it to Private Reserve Plum, even though they're not really they're not really similar. Um, but that's one that people might be familiar with. Um, also Monteverdi Rose Noir. I mean, they're kind of close. This is a, leans a little more to the purple side, I would say. Um, Sailor Ink Studio 231. This is, I knew, was going to be a little brighter. Um, not quite the same. This is probably a little too red. Um, Kyoiro Cherry Blossom. I just happened to have it here, and I was like, oh, let's look at it. We have um, Ackerman, the Dutch Masters, number six. I wanted to call this Parle because Bloodborne, I play that game. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but <laughs> but there's a boss that you fight in this game called Parle. Um, Pelican, Edelstein, Amethyst. Okay, let's move these. Also pretty close. And then I grabbed a couple of Ferris wheel press inks. I knew that this would be too bright, um, but also Grape Ice Pop is obviously a little darker, um, but I thought that was also maybe a good match. So if you aren't able to get Black Tongue Spider Orchid, um, I know um, I did look at the Stockist page and also people in the comments have said it, that they're not available in the UK. There used to be a European seller, so they must have they must have ended their contract or, or, or whatever, just decided not to excuse me, to stock it anymore. Currently, um, it's available at Penn Jelly and Van Ness in the United States. And there are several shops in Australia that carry the ink. So um, you'll probably have to get it from overseas if you can't uh, get it in your own country um, or from the States. I know, I know shipping is like outrageous and customs and all that nonsense, excuse me, all that nonsense. So um, yeah, so hopefully these comparisons helped um, since you can't find, since you probably can't find this one for a while. Um, I would hope that maybe a place like Cult Pens or some big like European, um, that's like UK store, but some, you know, I would assume that eventually they'll be carrying these. And I'm, I'm not sure if it's like a supply issue or if they just haven't worked it out yet. Um, but yeah, hopefully you're able to get it in a country near you. But if not, hopefully you found one of these comparisons that you like. Or, you know, maybe, you know, you're okay with that. It's not the same, but it's close enough. Um, yeah, so, awesome. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I will see you again soon with another ink swatching video. Probably some pen friend inks. Maybe some bottled inks. Um, maybe a little bit of both. Who knows? I like to keep my pen friend swatches separate from everything else, though. Because, you know, you're nice enough to send me stuff. So um, I want to make sure that you get the spotlight if you have sent it. So... Um, yeah, so again, here's our Ink Studio inks. I'll flip through them real fast. Our blue series. I think the next series is a little more on the tealy side. Um, yeah, but hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.